Alright guys, let's go on YouTube, Trigger Life here. One more time, guys. Guys and girls and girls and guys. Yeah. It's a little drive through right here, guys. A little Chicago traffic, man. Ain't no little. This traffic is hideous. You know, you figured the time of day, you know, it might be cleared up a little bit, but uh taint the case. Some told me look at my map before I came this way, coming through the city. But I was like, yeah, should be cleared up. You know, it shouldn't be too shabby wabby. Boy, was I wrong, man. I was super wrong. But I'm in thick of it now, so it's too late. You know, I gotta hold on, hold on, hold on to what I got. You know? Um, this is another day. This is the night. You know, this is the way this rolls sometimes. It's about drivers knowing their worth, guys. You gotta know your worth as a driver. And when I mean know your worth as a driver, it's a couple things, it's like six points I'm gonna touch on in this video, maybe more, but definitely six. You know, one thing I would say touch on is, as knowing your worth as a driver is, when you get in this business, um, you have to understand that you gotta keep your L's clean, man. No, don't do like your boy did, man. When I here's a little story before I get into the points, guys. I know some of you guys like story, like real. Some people can relate to real life situations. So this is my real life situation. I was with a company, and like I told you guys, who know my story, I wasn't expecting to be in trucking this long. I wanted to get in and get out. I wanted to get in for a couple years and get out, just to get out of my situation, move to the, go on to the next move. You know, I have a plan. But anyway, that crashed and fell really quick, right? So I was with this company, and I was trying to get fired, man. I was literally was, I ain't gonna say I was tearing stuff on purpose, but I was trying to get fired. Because I didn't like the company too good, man. And I was like, man, if I get fired, I get unemployment to figure, to figure something else out, right? That was my plan. I, I have a halfway plan, it wasn't a full plan. But anyway, so I tried to get fired, you know, and they had a point system there where you get so many points, you know, while you were uh, in your probation period, you can't, right? So my points is racking up. When I first got there, I was trying to get canned. Then I kept getting points, and I'm like, you know what? Skip it, I'm gonna get canned on purpose. If I get, I get unemployment, or I can do something else, right? I'm gonna keep money coming in so I just do something else. I know it's a messed up, I know it's a messed up uh, plan, guys, but hey, this was my plan. And I was trying to work it, right? So I figured, man, I'll jack stuff up, and you know, I'll get fired. Tell me why I had, I had an accident I had two up some stuff at a TV station. Now, imagine you, I wasn't trying to do that on purpose this, at this point. I was trying to get canned, but not in this way. You know what I'm saying? Not to up at a TV station. I did, I did in one video where some of my exes I had, the TV station was in that video. So, you know, I, um, you know, I, uh, you know, I test stuff up. So I figured, yeah, I'm definitely canned now. I wasn't even trying to get canned that way, but I said, skip it. Hey, man, whichever way to get canned, I get it, right? Man, tell me why. I go in the office, the terminal manager was like, man, this must be your lucky day. I said, why you say that? He said, Cause you, 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 you reached the point limit on, on uh, getting fired, they're terminated. He said, well, we just got a, a, a letter from corporate or email from corporate saying that they extended the points, right? Of getting canned during your probation period. That same day I had to act in the TV station, I got, they extended the points, guys. I was like, really? I was like, I'm kind of happy. And I'm like, well, not really, man. You know, but anyway, the tables turned. So I ended up being there for some years. And then, like, I was like, okay, I'm not, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get canned at this point. Cause now, I'm starting to make some money. Now, I'm starting to build a life around the money I'm making. So I'm trying to keep my job now. And I almost, I almost got canned. You know what I'm saying? But trying to keep my gig. But anyway, it's, it's weird how this stuff works. But anyway, knowing your worth, guys, is like keeping your L's clean, man. Like knowing if it's DOT report or accidents you have, whatever the case may be, don't let the company rush you up the road too crazy, man. Where you um, where you um, you figured that man, I gotta get this done. You test some stuff up. Now your license all jacked up. Company can you? And you the fall guy or fall girl? They hire somebody else and they keep on rolling. You can't find out the gig because your accident was too crazy, right? That's knowing your worth too, man. Don't rush for nobody. Even if you press on time, keep try to keep your house clean. Keep your mind, your house, your CSA score, keep your clearance house good. They got a lot of ways to pin a driver now. And you want to get pinned up the wrong way, right? So that's one way 
keep your house clean. I got stuck with jobs because I had an accident with the job and I figured I had to stay there a couple years or a certain amount of time so the accident fell off. I messed around, stayed with a job I really didn't want to be at, but I felt like I wasn't going nowhere because the accident was probably too bad. Whatever the case may be. In case you guys haven't noticed, I have a lot of accidents over the years I've been out here. But I haven't had none lately, but you know, your boy been through the ringers, man. So anyway, that's one thing, guys. Keep your L's clean, man. Number two is, make sure that when you in that, you spend the time in that truck, this is all about knowing your worth as a driver. It seems like small stuff, but this stuff ring, it looms, it looms big, guys. When you spend your time in that truck, and you're gonna spend a lot of time in that truck, let that truck be a classroom or a learning room, man. Learn, listen to podcasts, read books when you're not driving. Listen to audio books when you're driving. The beautiful old jaw jacket with somebody talking about nothing. At the end of the day, you wanna you wanna increase your aware of what's going on in this industry. You wanna increase your, your awareness of what's going on in case you wanna jump ship, how you gonna transition out. You got a lot of time in this truck to do that. Use the time wisely, you know what I'm saying? Use it real wisely. If you don't, you're gonna find yourself miserable in the truck, stuck in the truck. Like, why I can't move around? What's going on with this? What's going on? What's going on is you waste your time in the truck. <laughs> waste your time in the truck. I'm back. But anyway, that's that's number two, guys. Number three is, when you out here, when you're doing this job, guys, you wanna have a plan. I, I say this so much in my videos that I, I, can't, I can't say it enough. You gotta have a plan. I don't care if your plan is, I'm gonna do this for 10 years and I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna do this for five years and I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna do this for a couple years, I'm gonna buy me a couple trucks, plan me way, plan me way to get out the truck. So I work, got trucks working for me and I ain't working for the truck, or the company. You wanna have plans on, on what you got going on. So that way you, you won't feel like you're stuck. When somebody got options, you feel better going to your gig, you feel better doing the job you're doing when you got options. A lot of us don't have a plan at all, man. We only have a half of our plan. We just winging it. You think it's gonna be like this forever? Please. Somebody told you wrong, driver. Now, I've been out here long enough to know that nothing stays the same. It all changes. The trucking is a very volatile industry. It has the high highs and it has the low lows. You better have your, better have your plan plans before you live on the side of the road road. I mean, like, I mean, really left out in the cold, cold. You know what I'm talking about? Because if you don't, man, you got problems. Big problems. Huh. Okay, I'm back. I think it's number four. I'm not sure when I'm at with this. I'm going to roll with it. Anyway, number four. It's kind of along the lines of turning your, turning your truck into a classroom or a learning center. Be a learned person, man. Don't ever get to the point where you don't want to learn nothing else, a new skill or something. You got a lot of time in this truck. Use that classroom time. Just be a learner, man. Don't don't be a person. Now, man, don't get me wrong. Once you learn the trucking business, you, you got to grab some items or tab stuff when you're backing up. You got to keep it between the lines when you're rolling. You know, keep it right side up. Once you learn the basics of trucking, you kind of got that like to the point where, you know, you kind of got grip on that. Then, Learn the skills. Whether you use it or not, learn the skills, man. Be a learner. I've seen so many cases, man, where guys, is all they know, man. Trucking, trucking, trucking. It's all they know. Trucking went out the window today, they'll be lost in the sauce, man. Don't be that guy or that gal out here. Now, this is my opinion, guys, about possibilities. You know, uh, what you probably could do while I'm sitting in this rush hour traffic right here, which is past rush hour, but it's still traffic for some reason. But anyway, I digress. Um, what's up going with that? Anyway, be a learning driver, guys. Be a learner. Don't, don't be one of those drivers where you just sit to the, you just sitting there hoping stuff work out. And you hoping that you ain't gotta learn a new skill. You figure, whoa, I'm out of school now, skip that. I ain't gotta learn, I gotta read another book. I ain't gotta learn nothing else, skip that, I'm free. I'm glad I got through that problem. Don't be that guy. I mean, if you don't want to feel like you're stuck, you know? This is all about knowing your worth, guys. Because once you know better, you do better. And when you're able to know how to run, what not to do, what lanes to take, what runs to take, that's not profitable for you and the way that you got going on in your life, you'll be more profitable driver, man. You'll be a more worthy driver of yourself, not for nobody else, but for yourself. That's just knowing your worth. So when this dispatcher's talking crazy, hey, man, 
Hey man, you know I ain't doing that driver. You know he ain't a driver. Driver? <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm losing it, guys. I'm losing it. Anyway, I'm back. Anyway, you know your worth. You know what I'm saying? You know your worth. Also, too, know your worth is, man, when you got a truck, guys, if it ain't your truck, it's a company truck. Treat it like it is your truck and look over that thing. Knowing your worth is, if your, that truck is not DOT safe to roll the road, man, I don't care what they say, man. I'm telling you, I'm gonna share a story with you guys, man. I know some guys like the stories again, so I'm gonna go, we'll go with it, guys. Man, when I first started driving, right, I was with this company. The dispatcher told me, man, don't get me wrong, I was a hazmat driver at that time, but this cat told had me pulling, if you guys know what um, uh, propane tanks are, they like put them on forklifts to drive forklifts. Propane tanks. This cat go tell me, ain't no room in the trailer for these propane tanks. So when you go to the other terminal, start the propane tanks or put them in a cab with you. So I said, okay, I put two non flammable gas propane tanks in the cab with me, man. And hit the road, guys, rolling hard. If I would've had an accident with that, guys, I would've been up the river without a paddle. You know what I'm saying? Cause I let a dispatcher send me off. And he knew he was sending me off. I didn't know, I was like, okay. I took it and ran, freaking hazmat in the cab with me. That's crazy, man. Anyway, I ain't back. So what I'm saying is, make sure that you look over that truck. If that truck is not safe, it's throwing oil everywhere. Man, take an L for the day, man, instead of driving like that. Cause if you get popped like that, guys, that's gonna mess your, your CSA up. Gonna mess your DAC up. It's gonna mess a lot of stuff up. At the end of the day, the company will get points too, but you'll get jacked up. The company can hire another truck, another driver, throw you out the window, throw another driver in that truck, and keep on riding. And now you sitting on the side of the road, like man, I can't get another job. My points too high. My CSA points too high. And that double, or triple stuff with the CSA points. That's crazy to me, man. But anyway, it happens. So if your points are all jacked up and tripled and double stacked up, man, you got more than smoke, man. And so, knowing your worth is, that truck is not, man, if that truck got problems, man, that you deem crazy to drive, don't drive it, man. Don't even drive it. Keep your eyes clean, go find something else to do, man. There's other companies out here to take care of that equipment, man. You just gotta find the right one. It's gonna take a little time to do it, but hey, it's bad to get pulled in that coupe, man, and you got, you know, don't let it be a super coupe. You pull up in that, boy, they'll go to work on you. And you, you're not gonna come out a happy person, let me tell you. Anyway, I'm back guys. But anyway, so that's what I think that's point number five, four. I don't even know what that is. But five. It might be six, five, or maybe four, I don't know. But anyway, guys, these are these are some things about knowing your worth, man. Knowing your worth. Like what like that that inspecting your truck thing. Even when it comes to like overweight and waiting, wait your waiting waiting your stuff right, guys. So let them dispatchers send you off, man. Tell me, it's only three thousand pounds over, you know the scales give you they give you hundred pounds over. Per axle or per per whatever per foot, they don't let them see you off. If your thing, you ain't got all way permits, man. Don't run over. Don't get me wrong. Some scales, they'll give you a couple, a little wiggle room with, with a little overage on the axle here and now. But man, if you man, if you man, look, if you don't feel safe running that thing, man, and it's overweight, don't pull it, man. Don't pull it at all, man. Cause it ain't even worth it. It ain't worth it, man. And this stuff I didn't learn, guys. This is stuff people didn't tell me, man. This stuff I just learned the hard way, man. Pulling overweight stuff, getting popped, all type of crazy stuff, man. Getting fines, all type of preventable stuff that I didn't know before I got into business, you know? So I'm telling y'all, man, this, uh, this is all about knowing your worth, man. You gotta know your worth as a driver. And you gotta know your worth, man. You gotta create an exit strategy too, man. That'll be number uh, six, I guess. I don't know, I'm rolling with it. Create an exit strategy. Whether you exit out the business or not, you have a plan to exit the game eventually. Either you exit it out the truck, or you wanna get multiple trucks, or you wanna like either stack your money up after you figure this business out a little bit here and there, and you wanna go buy some real estate, you buy some property every year, or every six months, or every three months, and you finally Get you enough income to supplement the income you're making now so you can walk out the truck nice and safely. Or if you want to drive the truck, now you go on to drive because you really want to. A lot of people drive trucks, guys. They want to enjoy the business of the trucking game, but they can't enjoy it because they worry about their dough. If you don't know what dough is, that means money. 
people, either a trucking company showing you on your money, tax bouncing, they ain't paying for everything you do. Now instead of you trying to really enjoy the trip, enjoying going to the customer, enjoying the, the scenery, you ride down the road mugging cows and horses and deers, you know? You mugging everything looking at you sideways because you salty because your money ain't right because these cats playing with your dope. And you always running, you always running this money. Now look, another thing too, guys. If a company got you over the road, right? Just remember this. This is a bonus right here. If a company got you over the road and you out there for a certain period of time, I say two months, a month, three months, whatever the case may be, and you sitting more than you rolling at a truck stop for more than for, like, for days, you might want to start looking for other places to go to work while you sitting in them truck stops. On the phone, we got apps now, guys. You got websites on your phone. Use it. That's all I'm saying. And you can go somewhere else too if you keep your DOT uh, physical in order. Just skip that. I'm gonna go it. Number seven, guys. This is number seven. Know your worries to drive is keep your health in order, guys. I can't count the times. This is a bonus, man. I think this is number seven, guys. Anyway, you guys not account. I hope. We ain't just dumb truck drivers. We not account drivers. This traffic is horrible. But anyway. Another thing you want to do, guys, is keep your DOT, keep your your, your physical, keep keep your body healthy, man. That's what I'm saying, man. Because a lot of guys, I just of course you know you got the health reasons, you know, because when you when you unhealthy, your body is crazy, man. It just don't feel right, it ain't performing right. You know, you guys already know how it go, and they ain't trying to go through that again. You know, you got to sleep apnea. You got your, you know you probably gained a couple pounds over the years, months of driving. Now your neck probably more than 16 inches or 17 inches wide. They want to throw you on a machine. You know what I'm saying? Anybody, anybody has to drive, you know what I'm talking about. Or the blood pressure part. The blood pressure, like a lot of guys out the ballpark, man. They knock you straight out the ballpark, baby. Like, man, what's up with the blood pressure? Your blood pressure is high. Give you 15 minutes. Let you, let you sit let you sit in that room 15 minutes. And every foot that walk past that door, it raises the blood pressure up even more. <laughs> Anybody know what I'm talking about? I know what I'm talking about. So anyway, normally your work too, guys, is man, take care of your health, man. Don't let your health go. Because truck drivers is known for just picking up the pounds, man. Because most of the time we just sit there driving. Driving and munching. That's all we're doing. Driving and munching and munching and driving. So if you want to keep your health in order, so that way you have options, guys. So in case you want to bail, you don't worry about trying to not pass the DOT physical. You know what I'm saying? Because most guys. And I ain't gonna lie, your boy's in that category for a while. I got, before the DOT fizzle come up, you gotta get your right, your body right, you gotta fast, water fast. <laughs> hey, I know I ain't I know the only one that did that. Anyway. Cause you're like, I ain't trying to get that three month, I ain't trying to get that year, man. I gotta get that two year, baby. I gotta get that two year, man. In order to get that, you gotta pass that physical, baby. You gotta pick out, figure out which DOT doctors to go to, which one, take what. <laughs> anyway, drivers, know your worth, man. Keep this stuff in order, man. That way you ain't gotta you ain't gotta bow down to some nonsense, man, or some companies. They tripping, man. And also too, guys, I put this in the video because this video is getting a little too long. Also too, man, you wanna make sure that, and I'll go into details in another video. That you uh you, you, you start stacking your dough, man. Watch the more cheese, man. Watch that more cheese. The more cheese you get, man, the more hole you dig up for yourself. Less leverage you got, more smoke you'll have. And smoke mean problems. But anyway, I YouTube. Hope this video is helpful. If you understand what's going around here. And I'll see you guys in the video. Hey.